folks out there my name is Ottoman and this is the hard black truth and just like clockwork they go after my man Jonathan Majors now for those who don't know who Jonathan Majors is I guess you haven't watched Lovecraft County I want to say that was the name of it um, which dwelled into the supernatural uh, and, and has been critically acclaimed and whatnot uh he recently did creed which i still haven't seen the movie but the reviews uh, that have come in are saying that the movie is spectacular i've seen some of the memes online as it parodied uh you know dragon ball z so i'm looking i'm very much looking forward to be able to see that film uh and then you had uh, ant-man where he played king the conqueror he reprised the role for a second time uh, for those who are into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, or probably real deep with it, already seen Loki. Uh, he, he initially came out in Loki, and now he's reprising the role, and now folks are already talking about, you know, how they can expect to see his character play out in these next upcoming films. Although I must say, the MCU has really kind of taken a nosedive with things, and, you know, it was to be expected. Nothing can last forever, but... Hopefully he can uh, bring back this uh, phase four and five, however it goes down. Bottom line, the man is out there, right? He's out there. He did that Vanity Fair cover. Ah, yeah, he did that Vanity Fair cover. And, um, you know, some folks were were bigging it up. And other folks was like, come on, dude, you, you out here doing your thing. Me personally, I'm like, yo, if, if you in shape, and, and and you can do that rose petal shit. You got it like that, man, man. Do your thing. It ain't for me to be looking at the goddamn magazine anyway. You know what I'm saying? It, that's that was for the ladies. So shout out to him, the man. You know he he he's been thrust out there in the spotlight, so to speak. Um, although he's an actor, right? It's weird, but but he's getting his moment of shine. I'm sorry, rather long winded, right? Two minutes in plus, and I'm getting to the point, right? He is getting his moment of shine, and within that moment of shine, of course, there has to be something, right? So, you know, uh, the spokespersons for uh, majors have, have stated that, um, you know, he's done nothing wrong. Uh, other folks, uh, well, there is really no other folks. All we really have is a report uh, that says that he... Uh, beat and strangled, strangled someone, right? That, that, that doesn't even make sense, right? This is a this is a big guy, so it's. Um, they said to her that this took place with. Uh, I'm not buying it. Uh, um, most folks are real interested to find out who is this her. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm in careful anticipation of seeing a Becky. You know, I'm. I, I just. I hate to say it like that, but this. You know, this may be a non-black individual. Okay, uh, pardon the, the the word Becky, but nah, this may be a non-black individual. Uh, who the hell knows? At the end of the day, it's just you know weird the way these things happen, right? All of a sudden you're up, and now all of a sudden you're you're being reminded, hey man, we can get to you. And, and you know, part of me is really thinking that too, right? Because I, I I view things as being a little too coincidental. Who knows? Maybe in the excitement, the heat of things, not saying that his uh, recent stardom has had anything to do with this directly, but maybe indirectly and all the hype and all the things going on, you know, maybe he has that air of, oh, I'm Jonathan Majors. Who are you fucking with? I'll choke slam your ass right now. Won't nobody do a damn thing. And then the person was like, okay, we'll see what we're going to do about this black man. And who knows? I'm not, I'm not trying to put that out there about him personally. I believe it's more of an issue of, oh, I'm going to get me some money. Oh, you're Jonathan Majors. Oh, people know who you are. And all I got to do is make a phone call and make a claim. That's all I got to do. And in this day and age, honestly, that's all you have to do. Okay? 
and, and, and it doesn't take much to run your ass into a doorway or or the wall or, or do whatever you got to do to bruise yourself because they said that there were some bruises. So um, I personally think the whole thing is unfortunate. Um, personally, I, I think it's wrong that it would come out at this time. And I hope that the information that, that's forthcoming uh, isn't, you know, something that, that's trying to be hidden under the shadows. Like, just come out with it. Uh, let us see the parties involved. You know, uh, I understand that they got these rules and laws in place. You don't want to harass the victim. You don't want to go after the victim. But a lot of folks are, are really wondering whether there really is a victim. Okay? A lot of folks, are lo I'm looking at this sideways. I really want to know whether there's an actual victim here. That's the type of time that I'm on. So, um, yeah, I, I think a lot of folks kind of feel the same way I do. Uh, let, let, let's just see how it all goes down. Um, but anyway, those are my two cents in regards to the situation. Uh, again, I think it's unfortunate. I'm just really reporting it as it's come out. Uh, some folks, it's taken a while for them to kind of absorb this. And the same thing with me. But uh, more information will be forthcoming. And, you know, maybe we do a part two or three on this video. But what do you guys think? Uh, it's starting to thunder out there. I think it's coincidental. Uh, excuse me, not coincidental. I don't think it's coincidental. I personally think that this is uh, someone trying to yank a chain. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think. My name is Ottoman. Holla at me. Peace. Spiritual Poems of Encouragement for the Soul by Michelle Staddard, also author of Broken But Not Bound. Another illustrated masterpiece for those of you who enjoy spiritual poetry. Some of the works by my son, Omani Static. Links in the description. Holla at me. Peace.